Hello? Hey guys. Hi Alexis, how are you? I'm doing good, how about yourself? Great, great, thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> I stream, I seen that you were about to play some DVD. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, it's funny because I love Dead by Daylight. Uh, well, okay, that's that's a lie. I have a love-hate <laughs> relationship <laughs> with Dead by Daylight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, the new chapter came out, so we want to check it out. Um, my chat saying hello to Alexis. They they yes. they have a lot of questions and they're ready to go. Um, so all right, Alexis, uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, chatting with me earlier uh, last week and um, help me setting up Blurp. And uh, this week, we've already had some people uh, join Blurp and had the extension added. And that brought some great questions. So before we get to any questions, would you mind kind of telling us a little about you and like what Blurp is about? Yeah, for sure. So I'm Alexis. I'm a product researcher here at Blurp. Um, I also do a lot of like the referrals and champions um, and helping out with just customer success stuff. So um, I've been doing that with Blurp for about two years now. And Blurp has been around since um, 2020, uh, we actually didn't really start making a name for ourselves until like 2022. <laughs> oh, wow. um, and we started off in Twitch. I um, mean, we had 50,000 uh, streamers actively using it uh, with our Twitch extension, but we decided that we wanted to become universal, especially with Kick, uh, YouTube, Facebook gaming, Trovo being out. We're like, okay, we need to bring the fun to right. those platforms. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a useful tool, and I think for a lot of us who came over from Twitch, you know, missed having the tools and uh, the resources to have like some kind of like fun interactive thing for the chats, uh, you know, channel points and redemptions. I mean, there are some bots, but they're not very consistent, and mm -hmm. some of the rewards and the redemptions are a little lackluster, unfortunately. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I've got to play with it a little bit, and a few of uh, my friends and, and my mods here have, you know, signed up and got it going. But there was a couple of things that we noticed. Um, what's up, Telly? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Is there... Okay, so we already got some questions. <laughs> All right. So, TV Telly, is there going to be channel points? I mean, I, I think this is kind of, that's kind of what Blurp is. It, you're... They're not really called channel points or blurps. You're, you're collecting blurps. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, that's, I guess that's a question for, for Alexis then. Um, is there going to be channel points? As far as, like, different rewards where you can have, like, hydrate or just in general, is there going to be channel points? Um, so you collecting points and using those to redeem blurps. Uh, so uh, Telly says, yeah, I mean, not just for, like, sounds. And I think, so what I did, Telly, is I actually went in and I was able to upload my own sounds. I, I have a lot of sound bites from Twitch that uh, I turned into Channel Point Redemptions. And you are you do have the capability to upload your own sounds. Mm -hmm. um, I made my own redemptions. And uh, so people in the chat can redeem those for specific challenges or rewards. Um, yeah, and you can even, um, so say some of those sounds that you created, you can even tie in those actions too. So if you change the title and um, for an example, like a, a hydrate reward, um, you could use like a sound for that. Um, and the title could just be like, you know, hydrate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you, you do have the ability to customize your rewards. Um, okay, I have a couple of questions here slash suggestions. Now... Um, I mark these as suggestions or questions because I'm not sure if these are either something that may be implemented or are already in there and I just don't know. Um, so one is uh, the ability to favorite a blurb sound, meaning like through the discoverability section, you know, can we like favorite certain ones so that way we can like go back to them, you know, if we really like them. That'd be something that'd be really cool. Um, I don't know if that's that's an ability that that we can do now or if it's something that has been brought up. Yeah, for sure. So you can actually uh, create collections mm -hmm. um, and these collections will be created with 
within your library. So if you look at the left side navigation on the Blurp website, okay. Let me go right under dis yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just there. let me know when you're ready. Um, right under discover, you're gonna see my library. So if you click on that, this is gonna show all your favorites yeah. and then also your collections. Okay, yeah, and I made my own collection, so uh, that's cool that we can actually do that then. So chat, you guys can see this, right? So this is the Blurp uh, site. And I already have my dashboard, which is under the Universal Extension. Um, you don't want to pay attention to any of this stuff because this is all Twitch related here. You're going to mm -hmm. want to focus on the Universal Extension for Kick. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Okay, so that that's good to know. So we can make our own little personal library, and that'll kind of be like our personal favorites that we like from the discoverability section. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it hard to find uh, when you were like messing around? No. So when yeah. when I was going through it, I was I noticed that there was like little hearts, and I was like, okay, what 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 this mean? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so like yeah. I was like, I I, I got to figure this out, and then I kind of made it uh, like a little collection, but I didn't know if like there is a way under the discover section to have like a separate favorites area, but that makes sense that it's just under the library now. So that's cool. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Um, my next question is uh, the ability to enable and disable installed sounds. So say I have a bunch of stuff under my universal extension um, that people can redeem. Um, I would love to the ability to disable certain ones for certain streams because I have a ton that I added for uh, redemptions, but sometimes they don't really go with the specific game that I'm streaming or what I'm trying to do. Um, because there's a lot of meme ones, there's a lot of like jump scare ones, there's a lot mm -hmm. of just you know like either challenge ones. Because I like to do a lot of challenges, so sometimes I have my chat redeem certain things. Like I have something called redeem no audio, or redeem like change my username, um, or redeem like select my skin. So I would like to be able to uh, have like a setting where like there's the ability to enable the disable without having to remove it from my universal extension uh like collection uh, gotcha. you know what i mean yeah 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 that's really interesting that you say that yeah. um any other creators here like bunny butt and paladin are you guys creators that use blurb pa paladin does uh do some so, yeah i haven't streamed in a while but um he streamed on twitch I, yeah when i did it was on twitch yeah okay yeah, I just I, I would love to hear your your thoughts too on that. Um, the ability to be able to you know disable specific sounds without having to remove them entirely from your library. Yeah, I mean that would be really convenient. <laughs> it would. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, hello, welcome, Susan. Um, so anybody in chat with the questions that we're asking right now, and I'll get to your guys' questions here in the, in a couple minutes. I have a, a few more questions and suggestions that I want to ask Alexis. But based off of that, do you feel like having the ability to enable or disable sounds without them always constantly showing up, would that be a useful tool for you guys? Uh, Akantha said yes, it'd be nice to be able to do that. She's a content creator. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Yep. Yeah, and that's something that, you know, and I, I hate, I really hate comparing platforms. It's the same way, like, I hate comparing video games. But, you know, uh, I think a lot of us kind of became kind of spoiled when it came to Twitch with certain features that they had. Mm -hmm, and, yeah. you know, that was something that was really nice that they did on the channel point system was that we were able to go in there and enable and disable specific ones for certain streams. Um, and it just made it much more functional where it wasn't just a huge library that people would have to scroll through to find the redemption that they were looking for specifically for this stream. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Yeah, no, I definitely will bring this up. Um, I think that's a really great idea, um, especially if it, you know, makes it useful and seamless for you guys without having to constantly delete them or remove them from your library and then yeah. having to give you more homework to yeah. add them back in. No, absolutely. Hi, Kat. Welcome to the stream. Um, no, not really. We're, we're, we just kind of talked a little bit about, you know, what, uh, what Blurp it's about and... Um, all this stuff, I'm going to actually section this portion of the stream off and I will upload it to my YouTube so that way people can go back and specifically look for the blurb section of the stream. Um, all right. So another question that I had was um, descriptions for certain blurbs. So 
Um, we can title, obviously, the blurbs that we upload. Um, but it would be nice if we could also have the ability to have like a small, maybe like 200 character, 300 character, not even 300, that's a lot. But maybe like <laughs> a, just, a, just a small, like, you know, description that kind of explains what exactly is this blurb? What is this redemption? You know, what is it going to do? Um, that way it's just, you know, even though like people can uh, review it by playing the sound, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, like if I want to do like um, a challenge, it'll explain what the challenge is, you know, when they redeem it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So just tying in uh, those actions and being able to, you know, just ex explain what that actually mm -hmm. going to be with that right. sound. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think somebody just redeemed the ooh woo. Ooh woo. Um, I was like, God, I hope somebody didn't do that in the in the Discord voice chat. <laughs> That's awkward. All right, yo, you were testing it. Okay, no problem. Tell. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, uh, I have two more questions, chat, and then we will uh, continue to um ask your questions to uh, Alexis. Okay. All right. Um. The fourth question I have is visuals on audio. So obviously Blurp has the ability to play audio, but would we have the ability or is there something that may be implemented where we can upload a visual aid with that audio? So it plays something on the screen as well. Um, so you should have an alert overlay. Um, yeah, there is. About... Yeah, there is the alert. Sorry. Uh, there is the alert that does pop up. But uh -huh. is there a way, like, say, for example, um, okay, I have, like, a redeem, select a Fortnite skin, right? So, yeah, mm -hmm. the alert will pop up saying so-and-so redeem this. Um, but I would like to customize a, an image that shows, like, maybe, like, a Fortnite dance or, like, a chest or, you know, something that plays on the screen so it kind of looks like it's interacting with the stream. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you can actually, so if you go into your universal extension dashboard, yeah. uh, when you hover over those individual blurps, yeah. um, you will notice that there's like, you know, lines right underneath what is edible. Okay. Um, the image is actually, you can change that. So you can change it for another yeah. image or you can even implement a GIF in it. Yeah. So I was able to customize a couple of my images. Um, let's, let's test one of these uh, to see how it looks on stream. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my stream real quick. Um, and we're gonna, you guys can see here, chat, this is what the little blurp uh, sounds looks like on my stream, right? So uh, I can, oh God, okay, so I can select different things. Um, let's go to this one right here. So this one's like, if I play Pokemon, you know, we'll do this, the shiny sound effect. So can I actually play it on stream? Does it let me? It won't let me. I, oh, wait. Are you there we me? go. There we go. Now I did it. I did it. Okay, so I got to select. I got to make sure that I, I'm, I'm using the, the right little icon here. Uh, play with points. <gasps> Is that a shiny? Oh, God. <gasps> Is that a shiny? <laughs> Were you guys able to see that? So, see, it does, it does show a little visual in, inside the alert. Mm -hmm. Now... That part I did know about, um, but what I'm referring to is, uh, while the infinite window, <laughs> I know, <laughs> um, what I'm referring to is like, you know, having something on top above the alert where it's just like uh, a placed image, like overlay over the entire screen, mm, you know, gotcha. yeah, okay. so, and a little bit bigger. Yeah. You know, like something that's not within an alert, you know, it could just be like, so I don't know. Um, I'm going to kind of explain this really quick, but like for Pokemon, you know, when you find a shiny Pokemon, which is a rare Pokemon, you'll see like a little sparkle effect. Well, um, in other softwares that I've used, people would redeem something and then it would show like a little sparkle effect on my screen, which sometimes would confuse me, it would throw me off. I'm like, oh shit, you know, like that's, that's one of the rare ones, you know? So something like that, you know? Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. So more as in like screen effects. Screen effects. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, let me see here. I think I think that's all I had. I did. I was gonna ask about cooldown settings, but I think I I was able to figure out the cooldowns, um, in 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 the settings. 
Um, so I think that's that's all I have. Now, chat, uh, let's go back to you guys and see what you had here. Uh, so Telly said, so question, uh, viewer, like, what does that do exactly for the viewers? Uh, meaning, like, for, for, uh, what do you mean exactly as a viewer? Also, I know that, uh, a couple people, uh, who signed up with Blurp had, I've asked them, you know, are you accumulating Blurp points, you know? And a lot of people were saying no, they weren't accumulating them. So I don't know if it's like an automated thing or are they supposed to go in and claim points? Yeah, I can like claim them, but it doesn't like, if I don't claim any, it doesn't accumulate. Yep, so there should be, so anyone that has the browser extension mm -hmm. uh, will earn points. Anyone on mobile um, at this time won't earn points. Okay. And anyone that does have the browser extension, you do have to look at the extension. It should say bonus points mm -hmm. uh, yep. right next to your profile. And that's where you're going to click uh, to gain those points. Yeah. So let me see here. So collect points when streamers live. Got this here. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was something that could just accumulate without them having to like constantly go in and claim it claim it claim it you know what i mean mm -hmm. so that way you know they're not missing out on you know points that that they've based off of like you know them spending like time here in the stream because i know for a lot of streamers the the focus definitely is to make sure that our chat is interactive with the, them without them having to either leave the stream or the focus of the stream mm -hmm. um and I know that a lot of people do spend time in chat. They want to be able to collect those points, but they don't want it to be barriered or blocked off because they haven't gone in to claim them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely a huge pain point. I will bring this up to the devs and ask them what the technical difficulties are with just having, you know, those points being automatically going into their wallet instead right. of, you know, clicking on the bonus, bonus points. Right, yeah. Um, but anyway, did you have a question? I, I know that we kind of all took some notes. Did you have a question that you wanted to bring up? Um, and then Telly said, uh, can you as a viewer add any sound that they want? So, oh, okay, I get what you mean. Because I think um, Gokai also brought this up. Was um, when he was in my channel, uh, he had a blurb set up. He went into blurb and it said, you can suggest or you can discover your own sounds. And he was able to make like his own sounds on his universal extension. Now, if that happens, can they play those sounds on the stream? So unfortunately, at this time, um, they can't. So on our Twitch extension, we did have a feature and it was called global search mode. Mm -hmm. And this is where like viewers were able to actually search outside of your future content. It was, you know, it was mm -hmm. an awesome feature um, yeah. and it really set us apart. And then when we actually created the beta, we took that feature away. Mm -hmm. However, we are proactively looking for solutions. Okay. Because uh, it seems like, you know, as a creator, you have to add those sounds, right? right? Yeah. And so say if you didn't add a whole bunch of sounds, now your viewers are like, okay, really well, I can't find, you know, the sound that I want to use. Right. Um, and then it just seems like people just stop sharing because of that. Yeah. And I think that that's, that is a very unique and great feature. However, I, I know that sometimes there can be an abuse to it. You know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I, I've seen it happen before in other streams. Um, so I think maybe as long as the content creator has the ability to either turn on or off, like disable or enable that feature where their viewers can use other sounds that are not on the content creator's blurb um yeah. you know so that way things aren't getting spammed or kind of overridden you know because then it takes away from the channel points uh or i guess the experience that the content creator is trying to use with their mm -hmm. blurbs you know exactly yeah and you know that future we did have like a rating system where you know the creator sets the maturity uh rating for okay. what sounds they want on their stream oh, sweet. Um, and then we found that there was just a lot of abuse on that right yeah. um and you know 
say if you had like a family friendly stream sometimes those pg-13 ones aren't actually <laughs> yeah. pg-13 yeah um, <laughs> and so we we're like okay we're gonna just you know take it away and um look for other solutions where we can still give creators the control but also uh the viewers a good experience of you know finding their own blurps that they want to use that makes sense okay well sweet uh i mean i'm really excited about this you know it's I will say this, you know, to everybody. When I first met up with Alexis, you know, we went through this. It was very uh, user friendly um, for the, the the initial just kind of setting it up and stuff. And and but as far as like the viewer goes, getting the extension downloaded, it's super simple. Like I said, all you do is just sign like sign up, log in to Blurp. You can use your Discord, your email, even Twitch. And then all you got to do is just scroll down to the universal extension section that you see here, download the extension to your browser, refresh the stream, and you're good to go. And it's just there now. It's there on your chat. So it's super simple. It's free. It's easy. Um, and I don't feel like there's really no reason why like people can't do that. So that way they can start using more interactive tools in people's streams. And, then, and that's why I invited a lot of of my fellow content creators and friends to the stream because mm -hmm. I wanted them to see that this could be very useful for your guys' stream. Um, being able to have more interaction, more fun, more sound, where your chat's going to want to really uh, participate in your chat and have, you know, and have that full use of this, this software, this program, this extension that will be beneficial for you guys as a community. So um, I hope you guys... Uh, enjoy this. I know a lot of you guys already signed up and you guys said you got the email and you are going to do the onboarding. So that's great. I'm glad a lot of you guys signed up for this. Uh, Bliff says he has a question. Uh, currently, you can't sign up for Blurp with a Kick account. Is that something that could be added? Yeah, so we're actually working with the Kick team and uh, due to not having a login, they just don't have an open API, so an open system where we can actually integrate with them. Uh, so, you know, the workaround right now is to just use whatever logins you want. And then um, if you do use it as a creator, uh, you will link your kick URL channel to Blurp. And then that goes to us and we'll verify that for you and send out an email to let you know that you're verified. Um, and that's just to be able to actually see the browser extension in chat. So hopefully, you know, kick opens up their system and that way it's a lot easier to uh work with them yeah yeah that'd be great um gooch says uh <laughs> gooch says uh <laughs> so, yeah he's got a great name uh does it work with dual pc setups yes it does okay yes as long as you know what you're doing with your audio yeah if you have everything set up how you want it um yes it will work which I'm sorry, Gooch, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how any of that works. Like, I have the stuff to do a dual PC setup. I'm just, I'm scared to do it because I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, like, I, if I could help you, I would, but I just don't know anything about dual PC setups. Um, Kat says, is there a contact we can reach out after this call in case we have questions, issues with setting up our accounts? Yeah, you guys, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. I'm always available to, you know, help troubleshoot, answer any questions. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, like, even hop on a call, too. I, I, f I find it easier to guide people through a call instead of just typing it, <laughs> typing it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm in Prince's uh, Discord. Yep. Uh, my name is Blurp Alexis, so feel free to add me and reach out. There you go, Yeah. Yeah, just uh, simply just add her. And if you guys are not in my Discord... I can send you her profile so that way you guys can send her a friend request and just explain, you know, that you're interested in Blurp and, you know, if you want to set up a call, you know, you'll schedule a meeting. It's very easy. Um, as you guys can see, Alexis is very sweet, very kind and very intuitive and just that, no, you know, she knows, she knows her shit. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Kat, shoot her a friend request and welcome back. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, and go ahead. Uh, um, anyone that is ha has been enjoying the extension, we're actually looking to just speak to viewers about their experience on a one-on-one -on -one call. Um, so we're all about user-centric um, solutions, and without improving the product, 
uh, we definitely like to reach out to you know our users and you know ask them questions and about their experience before we make any changes. Awesome. So if you're open to it, hit me up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, chat, if you guys have any other questions, like I said, just reach out to Alexis and you know uh, she'll be happy to answer your questions and maybe set up an appointment. And if you're interested in getting into Blurp just sign up sign up and join uh the wait list and then you'll get an email on how to set it up and if you need any help just reach out to support um and uh, like i said i'm excited for this I, I, it's a great tool um and a workaround you know because kick doesn't have channel points so this is something that's going to be a great tool for a lot of us um and i'm glad that a lot of you guys were able to tune in and learn a little bit about blurp and you know share your questions or concerns um, but thank you, Alexis, for taking some time to do this with me. And, you know, this is our second interaction and it's been fantastic. And, you know, I hope that we can, you know, continue to, uh, you know, grow Blurp together and, and, you know, just share it a little bit more with it, with, uh, more content creators and viewers. Oh yeah. Uh, it was a pleasure. This is my first time doing something like this. Um, <laughs> but I thought it was, a, it would be a great opportunity to actually hear some feedback and suggestions because, you know. Yeah, it's absolutely. super helpful for for our team. Yeah, absolutely. Chat saying thank you to Alexis. Uh, they oh, really appreciate the feedback and the information. Uh, but we're all very grateful for you, and uh, you know you're you're hard at work, and Blurb's hard at work. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. And again, thank you for taking some time to join us here. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys again for, you know, allowing me to go on stream and talk to you guys. Um, I'll definitely stick around and and watch some DVD and oh. I'll also be in the Discord, so. <laughs> Absolutely sweet. Hey, if you ever want to play some games or Dead by Daylight, let me know. We'll, we'll be happy to have you join us.